What's up guys? So in the last video, y'all saw me install the Pro EFI screen in the dash of the Roulette Vet. And in today's video, we have the rest of the Pro EFI goodies. This is a box full of engine management badassery. And I cannot wait to get this stuff in the car. You know why? Because I've always had a stock ECU. Finally bit the bullet, was like, look, wanna be fast this year? What do we do? We have to go after market engine management. So we reached out to Pro EFI. They sent us their Pro 128 ECU, the data logger screen that's in the car already, some sensors, wiring harness. They say this stuff is easy to install. I hope it is. I've never installed an EFI system on a car before, but we're going to today. I'm going to show you how to do that and probably some shenanigans along the way. You know how I do. So let's get this thing unboxed, see what's inside. Ooh. Obviously, I've already unboxed this. Let me just say, a lot of unboxing videos, they'll just be like, let me unbox this for the first time and then it's not really the first time. Look, this thing showed up my step. I didn't even have my camera. I'm like, oh, I gotta get inside and see what's in there because like race car parts, you know? But for the sake of the video, we're gonna see what's inside. So we have this stuff, which is like some instructions, some wiring pinout sheets and everything. They make it pretty simple. So you get to see exactly which wires go to what pin on what connector and everything. Everything's labeled. Anything you might need, they've got it on paper for you. You have this harness and also I'm gonna learn this as I go. I don't really know. They said reach out to their tech team if I needed anything. So if I need anything, I'll give them a call and we'll get it figured out from there. So first we have the harness right here. Looks like mainly everything. It's really nicely done actually. This is like the really nice wire loom. This is that, I guess it's nylon or something. That's the really nice stuff. Everything is very simple. Nice relays and stuff here. Everything has a label on it. That's what I like. I don't like looking at something and not knowing what it is. All your connectors are labeled. You got some nice relays. They're labeled as well. Let's see. What does that say? Starter. I like how the wire loom is so nice and everything. These are supposed to plug into your factory. So what's nice about Pro EFI is that it piggybacks off of your factory harness. So you don't have to run a whole new harness or anything. So you just plug this stuff into your factory plugs and all that kind of stuff. And it works in conjunction with everything that's already in the car. That's going to help a lot. Pretty much plug and play. So that's the harness right there. This box right here, it had the screen in it. I think it's still got some other stuff in it too right now. Also another pinout sheet. We'll set that over there. We have some O2s. Oh, this is the can cable. This I'll have to actually pin into the back of that harness somewhere. So that goes to the dash inside the car. Then I think we have some sensors and stuff in these boxes. Another sensor, another sensor, an O2 sensor. You know, all the fun stuff. Car's gotta have all the sensors. And then we have the pretty box. Actually, I'm gonna make y'all wait for that one. What's in this box? Ah, can cable kit. So, okay, I see. So, got some more cable. Now, off to the good stuff. This is the brain of the operation. This is the brain. Look, obviously, I ain't the brain of this operation. Are you ready? Dun, 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 dun. Oof. For real though, that thing is nice, carbon plated. Everything is labeled so nice and clean. And apparently this actually mounts up to the stock location, I believe. I haven't even done it yet, but it mounts up to the stock location inside the car. So I think we just take our factory ECU out and this mounts up in the stock place. So I think the hardest part about this whole job is one, our AC's out in the shop for the third time in a row. So I'm gonna be sweating bullets the whole time. Cause it's like hundred degrees outside and two, Gotta pull the fender off the vet. So that is probably gonna be the least fun part about this whole install. So we're gonna get this fender pulled off real quick so we can get to where the factory ECU is and try to get our Pro EFI one mounted up real quick and then get the harness plugged in, blah, blah, blah. Do all the fun stuff. Here we go. Gotta go over here and grab my cameraman. He's kind of strange, so. Alright, so now that we've got our fender off, we can get into all the goodies. So, pretty cool. This car has the coils relocated to inside the fender wells, which is really nice. Keeps them out of the engine bay, makes it look nice and clean. But, this is actually what we're after right here. This bad boy. She gone. We're gonna get this thing taken off real quick. I think the Pro EFI ECU actually mounts up in the same place. I'm pretty sure. 
or maybe it mounts up here. I've seen some guys mount them right here, but we'll see. We'll, we'll figure out where the best place is to mount it, and we'll get it mounted on the car, then we'll have the wiring harness, get it plugged in. So in my car specifically, since I have the coils relocated up here, I think I'm gonna have to go ahead and move those down here, put those on the frame rail, and then put my ECU up on the top portion. That's, I think, probably the best option for me. So we're gonna go ahead and get those relocated right here so I can have larger flat surface to mount that ECU right there. I mean, honestly, look at the size difference versus the stock one, you know? A lot more brain power goes into this, so gotta be a little bit bigger. All right, so got the coils relocated down here at the bottom and made enough space up top where we can fit our ECU up there. Let's figure out how we're gonna mount this bad baby. So, found these nice fillet spacers over there that came with some strange stuff and these in my hardware drawer. Who am I kidding? I don't have no hardware drawer. It was in that cardboard box over there where I keep all my extra nuts and bolts. Or I try to sound all sophisticated and I'm really not. Got this here spacer, got this from the cardboard box. And I think it's gonna work out just perfect to take up the gap right here. So I already got one on top. We're gonna go try that one, make sure it works out like I think it's gonna work out. Alright guys, so the ECU is completely in the car. Uh, well, it's mounted anyways. What I did was I used a couple billet spacers. Uh, these are actually like some wheel stud spacers, but they're perfect for this and they match everything. It looks sweet. Even the back of the computer is not touching anything on the car, so it won't be rattling on anything. I used just our factory threaded spot over here and a couple studs and some spacers with some backing nuts on the opposite side. And that thing is actually really nicely mounted in there. It looks nice, nice and clean. The next thing I have to do is put the harness in so wiring is something that most people just hate and I am most people when it comes to wiring I hate wiring I can do it do I like doing it no I hate doing wiring. so it's not fun it's so time-consuming and it's just like I'd rather be bolting up turbos and other spinny boy things and activities instead of fooling with wires but for you five makes it pretty easy the gray one goes to gray black one goes to black they even got these things color-coded so gray goes here that's like that black goes there it's like that and then it's literally plugged in it's wired up to your car just like that now the tricky part, you have to plug in five more connections, but it's, it's not that tricky. They're labeled, this one's J1C, so we know that one goes there. And then you have two JB or J2B, I'm dyslexic for right now, why, I don't know. But you have two JB, and then obviously two JB goes there. All these connections are labeled, so it makes it really simple for the user. Like I said in the beginning of the video, the only thing that we're gonna have to splice in is probably our O2, any auxiliary connections such as boost control, will go to this here harness it literally is labeled auxiliary connections it comes with another plug with pins so it makes it super simple and clean so i can wire up i think boost control stuff like that goes here anything extra you want extra here i think i have to wire that in and i'll have to pin that in myself i have to pin my can plug that goes to the back of the display inside the car it's like five wires i have to pin those myself other than that it's all plug and play there's probably a good like 200 something wires here that i do not have to deal with because they make their harnesses like they do shout out probably five for making it easy for everybody thank you so much now that we have it plugged in right here in the factory location we can probably just tuck these wires back my ocd is getting to me i don't like how th this is on the front of this so i'm going to run it back through this is your auxiliary connector i'm going to run this to the engine bay so i can i know i'm going to have to hook things up to it anyway so i'm just going to go ahead and run it inside actually probably going to be hooking a man's brake up to this bad baby right here so that way you can get data for it the sky's the limit you can do anything with aftermarket computer Computers are amazing. And then, what is this? Fuel pressure sensor, so that's gotta go to the engine bay, so we'll run it that way. And what else do we have? This is your map sensor. I love how everything is just labeled, so nice and neat. So lastly, we have our relays right here, and they're all labeled as well, so we're gonna find a nice spot to mount those. After that, this install is pretty much wrapped up. I mean, I'll have to pin those few connections and stuff in, but that won't be anything. So we'll get all that stuff done, and I don't know how much we can actually do right now, you know, to show off the Pro A5 since there's no motor in the car yet, but at least we have everything done. So whenever the motor gets here, we can just plug it up, and get this thing running, get it to the track, setting records, you know, just normal Corvette things. Normal four link stick shift, 2000 horsepower-ish Corvette things, you know, no big deal. Reverse lockout, which I deleted. I don't have a reverse lockout anymore. I wonder if I should even keep these, like, 
Should I just unplug the relay? I'm gonna go ahead and mount them just because. All right, so now that everything's pretty much in place, we're gonna go ahead and mount our relays real quick. There's a relay for starter, mill, don't really know what that is. Reverse lockout, which I deleted my reverse lockout on my trans, so I probably don't even need it. Fuel pump relay, don't need that either because it's a mechanical fuel system that's going on the car and everything. So I'm not sure which ones I need of this. I'm not gonna just disclude them. I'm just gonna mount them out of the way nice and neat. That way they just look good because I'm kind of OCD like that. So we're gonna get those mounted real quick. I guess we can figure out what wires need to be pinned to what. All right, guys. So now we've got our cam cable. It's only just like five wires or so. Can we get an autofocus, please? There we go. All right. So it's like five wires, and it's pretty easy. It just says it tells you exactly what to do. Actually, so I'll just read it out to y'all. This goes to the data logger inside the car. We've got the white wire spliced into A18, and the next one on the list is the blue wire goes to A24. So let's see where that one is. Let me this all the way to the edge. Make sure I'm reading right. All right, so on to the next one. We got the white one pinned to 18, and now we're going to make the blue one go to 24. So we got wire 24 right here. You can strip the wire. You can basically just cut a section of the protected coating off and then split it, peel it off. Now you have an exposed section of wire right there. I don't know if you can see that. There's just an exposed section of wire. The wire's not snipped. And you can take this blue wire that's supposed to go to it and you can just kind of wrap it around just like that. After you get it placed on there nicely, take your soldering gun and just bond the two together. Psst, want no secret? I feel like a TIG welder whenever I solder. Probably even better than Taylor Thurston. You know that tits guy who did the little welding and stuff under the rear end. Nah, I'm just joking. That dude's a bad man. He can weld his butt off. All right, so that one's done. Where's the next one? Splice black wire to, oh look, we're done with that plug, so I can put that plug up. Well, I might leave it down because I know this plug's gonna be right here too. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap that section up. No, that one's done. The only other, we have two more wires to go to the other plug. Go to the other plug, J1. B09, splice the black wire in. So J1B09, you're getting the business next. This is J1B, now we're looking for number nine. All right, it's gonna be the center one. So that one's exposed. Gonna take the black wire, correct Sean? Yep, that's right. All right, the black wires goes to this one. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up. So now it's there. Now we can just solder that connection on. Go ahead and wrap that one up too. I just wanna say I would love to use heat shrink, but since I'm not actually cutting the wire in half, I can't use heat shrink, even though I've got heat shrink right here beside me. I would rather just not cut the wire in half, especially this close to the plug. I guess I can move it down some, you know, but just gonna get it done right here. Super quick and easy. Still looks good, in my opinion. All right, so we got everything installed. So dash is in, Pro UFI display is in. We have the ECU, it's mounted nice and neat on the fender liner right there. And I would turn this thing on and show you guys all the functionality of the display, but there's this thing called a RCDLR and it goes behind the dash. And without that, I can't really turn everything. I can't turn the car on because it's in theft mode. And this thing has gotten lost somewhere whenever we got the cage put in or maybe over at Taylor's, I don't know. I probably lost this thing. So I got a new one on order. It'll be here in a few days. And whenever it gets in, I can show you all the functionality of the display and all that kind of cool stuff. So to be honest with you, I'm super happy with everything. Make sure you guys hit up Pro EF5. If y'all need anything for y'all's cars, you know, like an engine management system that is Super simple post column. Yo! Yo, what you doing? Just got through installing Pro EFI on my car. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, I'm at the shop. Yeah, I'm at the shop. Alright, well, I'm about to pull up here in a few seconds. I got you. Yeah, I copped the 5.3 motor too. We're about to, about to start this thing up. You copped the 5.3? Yeah, it's already in the car. What? Yeah. Alright, dude. That's one way to do that. Yeah, 5.3 five, three, five, three is in the car. About, about to do the first startup right now. Are you serious? Yeah. What? Yep. Alright then, alright, well, I'll be there in a bit. Dude, I've been working hard. I've been busting ass today. Yeah, well, I mean, if you have a 5.3 inside the car and you didn't have a 5.3 earlier, then you did a lot. Yeah. No, literally, dude, like, motors in the car, everything, dog, like... I'm shook. Yep. Alright, see you in a second. How long, how long till you get here? Probably about five, five minutes. Okay. Alright, cool. Well, I'll wait on you to start it up. Alright, Dan, sounds good. Alright, bye. <laughs> Ain't got no motor in this car. <laughs> Look. Oh my 
God. Let's uh let's mess with Poe real quick. You guys think I should play some camp LS music through that big speaker over there so it sounds like the car's running when he walks in? <laughs> Do you hear it? What is running inside of you? <laughs> you have a video playing. No, bro. <laughs> I know you got a video. <laughs> 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 it's, it's an Invisa 5.3. Got the fender back on. She's wrapped up. Ain't got to worry about engine management no more. For you if I got it. And it's on board. Kind of rhymed. Hope y'all guys enjoyed today's video. Until next time, I'll see you later.